Hey guys, Texas Tiger Diggs, and uh, I'd like to show a cup, a uh, little bit of, uh, you can call it redneck repair or any other ethnic group you want to give a backhanded compliment to, <laughs> or cultural group, but uh, I always like the idea of, uh, of getting something to, uh, something to, something to fix and doing it. It doesn't have to be pretty, and this one is not. Uh, you guys know that I have some video glasses, the primaries of pivot heads, and these views are, are about my second favorite glass, and this is one that's completely intact. But I made the mistake of this, and this is a, this may be a shortcoming of this particular view, or version of this view, is I left it in the heat in the car in Texas. And you see that I have had to repair this side already. You probably can barely see it because I've already painted it black. But this side I just did, this was a, I don't know, a few months ago, but I did it again, stupid that, stupid that I was, and I had to repair this, and this is all moldable epoxy, and this is the, this is the, uh, the uh, do-it-yourself, whatever I got handy, best thing in the world for repair, the moldable epoxy, I've got three or four tubes around here, so when something goes, it doesn't go forever, and, uh, you know, I was going to get some black paint and spray it, but you know, I've got to keep this lens relatively clear. So I just got a, a little squashed up, old squashed up uh, marks a lot here. And we're going to just blend this in. Once again, guys, like I said, it, doesn't, it does not have to be pretty. To do the job. In fact, as I've said before, I don't actually do pretty. Okay, guys. I've almost got it completely done. I'm not going to bore you with doing this for for an extraordinarily long period of time but voila it will blend in enough then when it dries it'll blend in perfectly it'll be a flat black repair on top of a flat black set of camera glasses all right see it's not see that is not bad i could have gotten my uh, dremel tool and or my little hand files and made that slightly more fit the contour slightly more but why it does what it wants. It does not have lenses in it, but I'm, I am a person who could best be, be, called, be called borderline blind without my glasses, so that's really not a shortcoming. I can, I can do it with these. Uh, I just don't need to worry about the... Uh, I can uh, do it with these, but I'm not... Uh, my vision is never that clear in these glasses because I do need corrective lenses. And I think you can buy some of these. I think the pivot heads you can actually get lenses for, but I'm not a good lens for anything that can break. Then it'll only be a funny looking pair of glasses. In any case, I just wanted to show that. And I'll, I'm gonna show this too, as long as I'm here. These are clips. And these clips have a, have GoPro mounts on them. I bought a couple of them. So I can use these. I can, for instance, a cap. I can put on the bill of the cap. And what's great about it is it moves 100, 180 degrees, well, 180 degrees, 360 degrees. <laughs> it moves 360 degrees, and it's built for, you know, if you got a pack or something, you can just click it on the front of the pack, the strap that goes down the front, like a pair of suspenders, and you can, uh, you can use this as a body mount. And, for instance, I've got a couple of uh, large... Uh, bags around here I sometimes I carry a lot of stuff sometimes when I go out detecting and I can just clap it on that bag and I can mount it here and I can have a chest camera or you can put it anywhere you want anywhere it'll clamp and I really like those and they were very inexpensive I'll put information down below where I got them it was Amazon but I'll put the name of the clips etc in any case that's all I've got and uh, I'll be back pretty soon with with more finds and more digs hopefully Quit turning this thing on, and uh, and we'll see uh, what tomorrow will bring. Haven't had a chance to get out much, but you know it just takes one run. In fact, earlier this week, 
I was out for like two and a half or three minutes and got almost as much as I got the whole last week in about a three or four minute period. You just never know with this hobby. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.